Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're doing another full face using products under £10 because you guys really like my last one. You know, we love affordable makeup around here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. But before I do, today's video is partly sponsored by Sleek Makeup, which you guys know I love. They are like a staple in the drugstore and they kind of bring back nostalgic memories of makeup for me because they were one of the first brands that I bought because they used to be sold in hair shops and I would buy like their powder foundation. And yeah, I just absolutely love the brand so we're going to be talking through some of their new bronzers and blushes but also they have a face form baking and setting powder that I'm excited to use I have the shade here banana and it's a nice rich yellow so first I'm going to start with primer this is one of my favorites from the drugstore I always use this in my drugstore videos but this is the Barry M Pixie Skin Blur in Beauty Elixir which I always say is a dupe for the Fasali Skin Tune Blur so if you can't afford the Fasali this is nearly empty no I need to get another one if you can't afford the Fasali skin tune but you want like smooth poor blurred skin this is definitely the one to go to I think it's like 7 dollars and I'm just gonna blend that in oh I forgot lately I've been blending in my primer with a brush well I guess not today but lately I have been doing that just because I like the way it spreads across the skin so today I'm using the sleek life proof foundation one of my favorites from sleek it has such beautiful coverage but it's really nice and lightweight on the face they have 24 shades and I use the shade LP 15 it has the perfect undertone it's not too orange not too red really nice neutral cool it is a squeeze tube so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that onto my look at that shade match and I'm just gonna blend that in with a brush and it honestly just melts into my skin I would say first of all it gives a medium coverage but you can definitely build it up but I prefer to build up my coverage with concealer just so I don't end up with like layers and layers of foundation. So I just do like a light layer of foundation and then conceal wherever I feel like needs it. And for the amount of coverage you get with this foundation, it doesn't look cakey. It looks really nice and lightweight on the face. And it feels like, I uh, can't talk while I'm stabbing myself in the throat. It feels really nice and lightweight as well. But if you are someone that prefers more of a light coverage, they also have a Vitality foundation, which is more of a light everyday coverage. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to eyes and I've pulled out this hot dog palette because I've had this for a while but I haven't used it it's by iHeart Revolution and the packaging is like a hot dog really cool but the shades inside are really nice gorgeous kind of neutral warm tone colors right up my street so I'm just using the Revolution cut crease canvas to prime my eyes I think I'm going to start with the darkest shade in here which is called grilled it looks like a really deep dark brown I haven't used this palette before like I said so this one's kind of like a first impression I'm just going to dab that onto the outer V that seems to have really nice pigmentation. I'm assuming these are very similar to their chocolate bar um, formula. There does seem to be quite a lot of kickback in the pan, if you guys can see that there. But if that doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me, to be honest. I think I'm going to do one eye with you guys, and then I'll do the other one off camera just to save time. I think I'm going to go into this shade up here called Ketchup. It's kind of like a orangey terracotta shade. Ooh, these seem really pigmented. I don't remember the chocolate bars being this pigmented. They were pigmented, but this is like next level. Okay, so I'm just going to dust this up by the brow bone to blend out that dark shade oh wow okay pigment calm down now that I'm looking at it I feel like this palette would be perfect for anyone that's like my skin tone even deeper like as a neutral palette because all of the transition shades look like they would work on my skin tone sometimes with palettes you can just look at it and tell that half of the shades you're not going to use but with this one I feel like I would use every single shade in here which is great and I love the ratio of matte to shimmer so far really enjoying this palette I'm gonna go back into a small dab of that dark uh, out of the color and just build that up and now for the lid I think I'm gonna go into this gorgeous gold right here called banger it looks really nice and I'm just gonna dab that oh wow guys the quality of this palette I'm actually really impressed so yeah clearly we're not doing nothing special on the eyes today just a cute glam look which to be honest with you is what I've been going for a lot lately sometimes I just don't have the energy to blend five million different colors together I just like doing something a little bit simple like this just gonna take a little bit of that orange shade and blend it in the middle of the gold and the dark outer V but yeah really happy with this palette and I do like the shade selection which is great so I'm gonna go ahead and complete the other eye and then I'll come back so we can finish the face okay guys so my other eye is done now we're gonna move on to concealer I'm gonna take the revolution concealer and define infinite concealer I absolutely love this one of my favorite favorite from the drugstore I'm just gonna dot that underneath my eyes and then also here to clean up my um, eyeshadow 
and I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with a brush. I've just been loving using brushes for everything lately. It's so funny guys, I put up a post on my Instagram yesterday, my Instagram story, and I said when I do Instagram tutorials, this is how I blend. And then really I cut out the part where I'm like, <laughs> getting right up in there, you know? I don't believe everything you see on Instagram. <laughs> We're gonna go in with powder now and I'm gonna take the new Sleek Makeup Face Form Baking and Setting Powder. So they have four shades in this powder. They have light, this one banana, then they have medium and dark. I think I have medium and dark. Let me grab that and I'll show you the difference between the shades. But this is what banana looks like. So kind of like a yellowy banana shade. And this is the medium shade, which I think I could use as an all, <laughs> all over face powder. I'm gonna swatch them all for you on my hand. And then the last shade is the shade deep, which is the darkest powder. This would be good for deep dark skin to dust all over to set your foundation. Okay, so here's swatches of the powders. This is banana medium and deep but like I said they do also have a light powder for light skin so I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and then I'll probably dust this a light layer of it all over my face and these retail for £6.99 so really nice and affordable and you get 14 grams of product in here which is amazing I'm going to take some of the banana powder on my brush and just press that underneath my eyes to set that concealer That looks really nice. It's not cakey at all. It set my under eye really nicely without being dry. So I'm gonna take a powder brush and take a small dusting of this powder and just press that into the rest of my face to lock in that foundation. I'm really happy with that. Really nice and smooth in. That's why I like matte skin because I feel like it's not as porous. When I have dewy skin, I just feel like you can see all of my pores and it just doesn't look great on mine. But when I have matte skin, I feel like my skin just looks so smooth. Now, Sleek have actually come out with new face form bronzers and also blushes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you swatches of all of the shades. They have four bronzers and four new blushes. So these are the four bronzer shades. The top one is called Obsessed. Then we have literally then we have fire and the last one is called Dayum. so Dayum is definitely the one that i'm going to be going for it has a slight sheen to it so it's going to be like a really nice glowy bronzer i do feel like they could add possibly two more shades to this line and then these are the four shades of the new face form blushes so the top one is the only matte one in this collection and it's called keep it 100 then the next one is more of a satin finish and this one is called slim thick the next one we have is called it's a mood and this one is a gorgeous rose gold type of blusher and then the last one we have is called feeling like a snack and this one is more like a peachy shimmery blusher absolutely gorgeous gonna be perfect for summer so first of all i'm gonna take the face form blusher in the shade dayum which has a gorgeous sheen golden sheen to it and i'm just gonna oh that's very pigmented that might actually work for deeper skin than mine as well that is a gorgeous shade for me actually it blends onto the skin effortlessly and really nice it's not patchy at all really nice glowy color as well yeah this is actually coming out a lot kind of darker than i thought it would which is a good thing for me and probably for everyone darker than me as well really nice kind of sun-kissed color as well you know when you go into the sun and you catch a little bit of a tan that's what it's reminding me of so my first impression of this is it's beautiful it blends onto the skin gorgeously even though it has that slight gold sheen to it it's not shimmery it's more like a satin glow to the skin really nice color as well for me i look like i've just come back from holiday like i really really like this because of the warm undertone of that bronzer i don't even feel like i need a blush but i'm still gonna go in with a blush i'm gonna take the slim thick shade which is that kind of natural orangey shade and i'm just gonna dust a little bit of that onto my cheeks oh that's got a nice glow to it this is actually a perfect everyday blush color for me because it's not too orange but it's not too pink it's like that perfect in between everyday type of peachy glow yeah they're 4.99 on asos so really nice affordable blusher absolutely gorgeous shades as well they have quite a few to choose from but this is really nice for like an everyday blush i feel like i look really tan today i really went in with that bronzer didn't i i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the charlotte tilbury oh no that's not under 10 pounds definitely not let me get another set of spray so i'm going to take the revolution hydrate and fix to kind of settle in all of those powders and give me more of a skin like type of finish this is seven pounds So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line with the same two shades so I'm gonna start with the orangey shade 
Okay, so last but not least, lips. Now, Sleek actually have three new lip shades coming to their Lip Evolve collection. I absolutely love the Loud and Clear Gloss. It's one of my favorite clear glosses. These new shades right here, absolutely gorgeous nudes. And I absolutely love these two the most, like this peachy nude and this bronzy nude. So what I'm gonna do is start with the Sleek Lip Doe Soft Matte Lip Click in the shade Carnage, which is like this dark brown. I'm gonna use it as a lip liner. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna line my lips with this. And I love the shape of it. It's kind of like in a triangle so it kind of just like lines the lips perfectly so creamy really nice shade but they dry down matte so the pinky nude shade is called one two step i think they're named after songs let me see you one two step Brad. who's that i think it's sierra and then we have this bronzy one which is gorgeous it has little mini gold glitters in it and this one is called trap queen she's my trap queen I'm an, I'm an, I'm an and then the last one is this gorgeous peachy nude which i think i'm going to use today and this also has like soft gold i can't get the words out soft gold glitters in it and this one is called who's that girl na, 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 Oh, this is such a gorgeous shade. It's a gorgeous peachy nude, but it has little gold glitters in it. And of course, I'm gonna complete my look with eyelashes. Would it be a Tammy look if I wasn't wearing eyelashes? And I'm gonna take the lashes from my brand, which are £6.99 on my website. So this is the style Tony, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on and I'll come back to you with the final look. Okay guys, so here we have the final look. What do you think? I think it's such a gorgeous everyday glam. Could even be a date night type of glam. This is beautiful. These eyes, this skin, get into it. This bronze, I'm loving it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found some new products that you want to check out definitely check out sleek makeup because all of their products are such good quality but so affordable really good prices that is it from me guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye